Uh, my name is Melody. I'm a teacher in Richmond, California. I'm a member of the union, and my union did not support him, didn't vote, take a vote on any of the members, but many of us are for Bernie. I believe everything he believes. I believe he's honest. He doesn't take money from anybody crooked. He wants to give everybody health care. He wants to give everybody education. He wants to give everybody equal rights. I think he's a great candidate, and I think he's going to win. And what about the issue of charter schools and privatization? Are you concerned about that? I'm extremely concerned. I teach in an inner city school, and my area, Richmond, California, has been targeted by charter schools. And we lose, I'd say we've lost about a quarter or more of our whole student population in the last few years. And the top kids go there. So we teach them how to read, we work really hard, and then they leave our schools and go to the charter schools and then we get, you know, different kids and take They're called the cherry kids. picking, creaming. Exactly, yes. once again, where people can have a job that pays, where people can have real health care, where people don't go to prison all the time. This prison system is out of control. It has been for quite a while. Because you guys have shut down security. America, honey. Everybody yes, gets yes, a shot. Yes, we get a shot too. It's our, it's the people's interest. We are here on behalf of the people's interest. Those delegates cannot vote against the people. We are here to make sure those delegates do not vote against the people. We all want to go into it. Uh, we're shut down, ma'am. Nobody's going in right now because you guys are not going to allow us to do our jobs. from? Stockton, California. And why are you supporting Sanders? Because enough with establishment politics. Nothing gets done. Frustration up to here. What's going on in Stockton as far as working people? Low wages, inequality, you name it, it's there. No access to education, health care, everything that people need is not there. Not there, non-existent. All these people come here, they lock themselves up in their chambers. They don't care what's going on. They're still getting paid. What kind of work do you do? I'm an educator. What's your name? Fred. What, are you in a union? Uh, no, I'm actually in management, but I'm very pro-union. My father was able to sustain our family, was able to feed us because he was a teamster. I'm tired of the unions eroding in this country, the middle class going away, and the poor class being treated like serf slaves. No more, no more, we've had enough. What's your name? Gloria. And why are you here today? Because I want to change. Um, I'm here to support a political platform. This is not about Hillary. It's not about Bernie. It's about the working families of this country. And we have had enough. We've had enough. And so we're here for the political platform that Bernie represents. We want a higher minimum wage. We want the money out of politics. It has to go. We want the money out of uh, the media connections we want, we want the future for our children. I, we want our children to be able to go to college. We want uh, our. <laughs> I get so emotional, but we are here. We are here for a political platform. You think uh, 
Hillary Clinton is contaminated with money? I think that Hillary Clinton cannot deliver because you know why she says everything is so impractical? It's impractical for her. It's impractical for her. It's impractical for her friends. It's impractical for all the people that are telling us this is not possible. This is impractical. Of course it's impractical. When you're tied to Wall Street, it is impractical. It is not impractical. We live in the richest countess in the world. I believe in the American people. We're the smartest people. We can solve any problem that's thrown at us working together in a partnership. Who's Mary? <laughs> Why are you here? Uh, but Bernie is a, all, hands down the best candidate we've had in a generation. Uh, you know, he's for the people, he's by the people, he's not owned by corporate interests. Uh, you know, while Hillary Clinton was taking money from private prisons, Bernie was introducing legislation to get rid of private prisons. And what kind of work do you do? I, I'm a, I work for the government. Do I get to say that? <laughs> you, are you in a union? No, I'm not in a union. I'm a, I'm a park ranger. Yes. I, ju just to cover myself, I do not represent the park service here. <laughs> I'm here on my own. Why are you, what's your name? Victor Gonzalez. And why are you here today? Supporting Bernie. We're from Azusa, Southern, Southern California. What do you think Sanders is going to do? Pardon me? Why are you supporting Sanders? He's great for the people. He's great for everybody. He supports the ideals of uh, health care for everybody, better wages for everybody. What else do you want in your life? What are the conditions for working people in California? There's a lot of uh, underemployed people. I mean, same wages. They, they can't support themselves, basically. Where do you live? Azusa, California. How many people live there? About 50,000. What's the unemployment rate? Oh, about maybe 12%. How do people survive? Any way they can. You know, two, three jobs at a time. They got to be out there. You can't make it in one job. Are you in a union? Pardon me? Are you in a union? Yes, Labor's Union. Labor Local 300. Why do you think the Labor's is supporting uh, Cl Clinton? The, well, if the executive directors of the make the decision, they go for Hillary, but the people are for Bernie. You're saying the membership wasn't consulted? No, of course not. You didn't have a vote on that? Of course not. Isn't that democracy? No, it's not. That's what we got. That's what we're out here. That's where it's all at. You have to express your voice. If you don't, nobody hears you. What's your name? Jackie Davidson. What's going on here today? This is awesome. It's people letting them know who we want, not who they want. No more big money. It needs to be the people for the vote. What kind of work do you do? I work for a local government. Federal government employees are under attack? Um, local government employees are under attack, absolutely. All employees are under attack, except for Wall Street, and we need to change that in the U.S., and we need to change it now. at Kaiser Fremont. What's your name? Michelle Vo. Why are you here today? We are here to let the superdelegates know to vote the will of the people and the people want Bernie Sanders because he shares the same values as the 99% of this country, the working class and the middle class. If Bernie Sanders was president, what do you think he would do? Well, like I said, you know, he wants universal single payer free health care for all American. He wants free public college. He wants to make sure that the veterans are cared for. Um, he wants $15 minimum wage. Those are all fundamental needs of a country citizen. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. And we hope, we think that the superdelegates are hearing us loud and clear that the people want Bernie Sanders and we want the superdelegates to vote the will of the people. What do you think about the superdelegates? Um, I think that they should listen to us. <laughs> okay. How long have you been a nurse? I've been a nurse for 17 years. 
What are the conditions in healthcare today in this country? You know, we've seen the evolution of healthcare to, you know, more cost effectiveness and more profits for the insurers. And it has done nothing good to the patients. You know, it's still rationed, the care. People are paying for care that they are not receiving. So we as nurses, it's painful to watch that and we're here to make change. You're for eliminating the insurance companies in healthcare? I'm sorry? Are you for eliminating the insurance companies in health? I am here to make sure that all Americans have access to care. My name is Larry, CWA Local 9410 in San Francisco. We want change in the government. We got to change it now. We got to change the structure that is going. It's for the people, by the people, of the people. Bernie for president! Bernie for president! Where are you from? Sacramento. And are you a student? What? What kind of? Where yes, you go to school? student. Um, Placer High School. You're high school. Yeah. Why are you supporting Bernie Sanders? Because he's going to make student debt more affordable. You're concerned about that? Yes. You're afraid you're not going to be able to go to high college? Yes. Does he have a lot of support among your fellow students? Yes. Do you have a club for him in your campus? Yes. the burn for me kind of means that for the first time in a long time I kind of feel like I could actually do something like we could do something like it could be an America that I'm actually proud of something that's exciting this uh, Tuesday in my class I'm a middle school math teacher we're going to do a mock caucus so I'm gonna get my students involved and let them know that if they really believe in things that it really can happen because I think the biggest thing against Bernie right now is everybody saying it can't happen and people don't realize that the only reason it can't happen is if people don't go out and vote. People go out and vote, we can have anything that we want in this world. What's your name? Jenny. Are you in a union? What's that? Are you in a union? I'm not in a union, no. What do the other teachers feel and students in your school? Um, a lot of the students are saying that they're Sanders supporters and their parents are Clinton supporters and they're trying to like break through to them and they're saying like, watch this video, look at the facts, look at this, you know, be educated. So I'm really proud of my students because they're actually, they're, they're feeling the burn too. Well, he's honest. He's the only honest politician that I feel like we've got left um, that it is a voice for us. You know, Bernie's been in office for a long time. He has really done what he says he, that he talks about. He doesn't change his mind very much. And if he ever votes in a way that is questionable, he always has a reason. You just have to let him explain. I trust the man. He's got my vote. He's got my entire family's vote, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And what are the issues that most concern you about facing people? God, in the I mean, you just throw a rock. You know, it's talk about, like, health care for people, college, um, uh, you know, decriminalizing things, getting rid of these corporate prisons that we have, getting money out of politics, state banking, you know, uh, postal banking, preserving... Are you a postal worker? Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I love my post office, though, and we need to keep our post office. And we can't privatize everything in this country. And this whole idea that socialism is a terrible thing, our roads, our stoplights, our police officers, everything is in a socialist system. So people really need to educate themselves that this is not a bad thing. This will really further everybody. Even the super wealthy will benefit by a Bernie presidency. They just don't know it yet. Yourself? Uh, my name is Ken War Sandu. And why are you supporting Bernie Sanders here today? Uh, actually, you know what? We support Bernie Sanders. Another reason why we're here is uh, because we're we, we're voting against Harinder Gurwal as well. Uh, he claims to be a, a pretty much a, a voice of our community, but he's more of a divider than a uniter. And we're here to address that. He's running for 12th seat uh, in state assembly, and and that's why we're here. We're also. Uh, in support of Bernie Sanders as well. What, what, what do you think Bernie Sanders' issues are that you are in support of? Uh, well, I definitely feel like he, there should be more jobs, and uh, he definitely is uh, for the people, and he's definitely the voice of the people, and we, we definitely need that for a change. Because uh, a lot of the, the voice of the, the, the people ha haven't been heard. So I definitely feel like he's the, def the right candidate for the job. Are you concerned with growing racism in the United States from Trump and other people who are blaming minorities? Uh, what was the question? Are you concerned about the racism, nationalism in the United States, Trump blaming immigrants and that kind of thing? Is that concern? I don't think that's a very good thing on his part to portray. 
Um, I feel like we should all unite, and that's another reason why I'm going with Bernie is because he supports minorities and uh, working class people. So, you know, we need to, we need to unite as a country to kind of move forward and progress economically and as a whole. So, yeah, definitely a Bernie Sanders. Where are you from? Uh, Turlock, California. What's the conditions in Turlock for people? Uh, you know what, for our local community, not too good because of Dr. Harinder Gurwa, who's dividing our community rather than uniting it. Um, you know, there's a, uh, a temple issue that uh, erupted a couple weeks back, a violence that erupted that I feel like could have been uh, handled a lot differently if he was the, the man fit for the job. He lacks leadership uh, because he promotes community violence and domestic violence. And I feel like someone who can't solve local issues isn't a fit candidate to uh, to solve state issues. So that's why we're here today. Uh, we want to let everybody know as a community we do not represent or support uh, Dr. Harinder Gurwal. Okay, thank you. No domestic violence. Hello, my name is Corinne Johnson. I'm a registered nurse and I support Hello. Bernie at, in San Leandro, Kaiser. Um, I support Bernie Sanders because he cares about the people. He is genuine. He is honest. He does not flip-flop on the issues. He supports our veterans. He supports people to be able to have health care and not end up having to go bankrupt if something happens to them. He supports young people so that they don't get out of college and have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt. That is no lie. There are kids that get out of college and have over $100,000 worth of debt. How do you start your life? This is not right. He supports, he has gone and taken people with cancer to Canada and helped those people to get pharmaceuticals because they could not afford to buy them in the United States. There are so many things that supports nurses' values at, that Bernie does, and I've seen him speak, and I can't vote for anyone else. That's the only person I can vote for. I mean, what are your differences with Hillary Clinton? She says what she thinks the people want to hear at the moment that's the moment. One minute she says one thing, another minute she says another thing. How can you trust anybody that says that? She has taken so much money from Wall Street, from Goldman Sachs, from pharmaceutical companies. She's bought. So what do you expect her to do? She's going to have to support the people that she is you know, supporting her. And the Democratic Party has all these super delegates. How does that limit democracy? Can the de you, you really believe the Democratic Party can solve this problem? I never heard about this superdelegate thing until recently. I really never um, was very involved in politics and still, until I heard about Bernie because when I started getting to know him, I felt that this is the one time in my life that I really need to fight for somebody who's going to fight for us. And this superdelegate issue is really unfair. It doesn't, um, it doesn't support the people's vote. It's people deciding what they want to do and not the, the, the number of votes that get in and, and that's the wrong thing you know our people should be able to vote the number of votes that are out there that's who the delegates should be going for uh, my name is Rick Davison I work for Verizon Telephone I am a CWA member 9404 I'm here for Bernie Bernie's gonna be back by CWA and I myself believe that he'll do what's right for the country now, what's happening with the Verizon workers? They're without a contract. I mean, seems like there's some attacks it's on the East Quicks. So they're still working on that. Uh, it's California, Texas, and uh, Florida have been sold out. They'll be now. They'll be frontier for the wireline side. Wireless side will be Verizon, New York, and I believe it's maybe a couple other states they'll have. And what's happening with working people, union people in this country today? You know, we're being beat up. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. I mean, think about it. They take away your wage. They don't give you a wage. They just barely give you a little as amount as they can give you every year. They add everything else onto you. They've added medic medical. I have to start paying for my medical where I didn't have to. Signed up because of that reason. You know, I didn't have to pay for medical. Pension. They froze my pension in 2012. Wages. So. Now I can't get any the top tier pay for my pension on the way out. And now it's going to be pretty much a, what's that? Oh yeah, been over 30 years there. And they're, it, it's they're just, making billions in profits, aren't they? Aren't they though? 
I don't want to say anything about that other than the fact that uh, they say it's business as usual to reap the benefits for the shareholder and it does nothing more for the middle class. The middle class is just getting chewed up and they think it's easier to take care of the country by giving the rich the, the amounts of money that they think they deserve.